Now, I'd like to talk about meaningful partners. Apple lives in an ecosystem, and it needs help from other partners. It needs to help other partners. And relationships that, uh, that are destructive don't help anybody in this industry as it is today. So during the last several weeks, we have looked at some of the relationships. And uh, one has stood out uh, as a relationship that uh, hasn't been going so well, but had the potential, I think, to be great for both companies. And I'd like to uh, announce one of our first partnerships today, a very, very meaningful one. And that is one with Microsoft. I'd like to take you through this. Um, the discussions actually began uh, because there were some uh, patent disputes. And uh, rather than, uh, I know. Rather than uh, repeating history, I'm extremely proud of both companies that they have resolved uh, these differences in a very, very professional way. And this has led, I think, to uh, an overall relationship that we're announcing today that's got several parts to it and we're extremely excited about. First part of it is a patent settlement and cross-license. Uh, the two companies have reached a full cross-license for all patents uh, that exist and for patents that are filed within the next five years. And uh, it has been a, uh, a very serious patent settlement. The second part of this is Microsoft is committing to release Microsoft Office on Macintosh for the next five years. They are, uh, they are going to release the same number of, uh, of major releases as they release on Windows during that time. Their first release uh, uh, is going, they're, they're going to target to have it out uh, near the end of the year. It might slip a few months into next year, but they're working real hard on it and it looks very, very good. Next, we have taken a look uh, at browsers out there and Apple has decided... <laughs> Apple has decided to make Internet Explorer its default browser on the Macintosh. Since we believe in choice, uh, <laughs> since we believe in choice, we're going to be shipping other internet browsers as well on the Macintosh, and the user can, of course, change their default should they choose to. But uh, <laughs> we believe that Internet Explorer is a really good browser, and uh, we think it's going to make a fine default browser. Java. We are going to be collaborating with Microsoft on Java uh, to ensure that uh, we can get the best from each other and ensure that uh, there's compatibility between our virtual machines. And uh, we think that uh, that will serve everybody's interests. And lastly, Microsoft is making an investment in Apple. Microsoft is buying $150 million worth of Apple stock at market price. It is non-voting shares. And they've agreed... agreed not to sell them for at least three years. So what this means is, is that Microsoft is going to be part of the game with us as we restore this company back to health, have a vested interest in that stock price going up. We're going to be working together on Microsoft Office, on Internet Explorer, on Java. And I think that uh, it's going to lead to a, a very healthy relationship. So it's a package announcement today. We're very, very happy about it. We're very, very excited about it. And uh, I happen to have a special guest with me today uh, via satellite downlink. And uh, if we could uh, get him up on the stage right now.
exciting work that I've done in my career has been the work that I've done uh, with Steve on the Macintosh. Uh, whether it's the first introduction uh, or doing products like Mac Excel, uh, these have been major milestones. And it's very exciting to renew our commitment uh, to the Macintosh. We have over 8 million customers uh, using Microsoft software on the Macintosh. Um, we make it very easy for people to use Macintosh uh, to take their, uh, their documents and work with all kinds of machines. Uh, we're very excited about the new release we're building. This is called Mac Office 98. Uh, we do expect to get it out by the end of this year. And we've got some, uh, some real exciting features. Uh, it's a product that's going to require no setup. It's going to be an easy transition from people in the past. Uh, and I think it's going to really uh, set a new benchmark for doing a good job of performance and exploiting unique Mac features. Uh, in many ways, it's more advanced than what we've done on the Windows platform. Uh, we're also excited about uh, Internet Explorer. And we've got a, a very dedicated team that's down in California that works on that product. Uh, and the code is really specially developed for the Macintosh. It's not just a port of what we've done in the Windows environment. And so we're pleased to be uh, supporting Apple. Uh, we think Apple makes a, a huge contribution to the computer industry. Um, we think it's going to be a lot of fun helping out. And, uh, we look forward to the feedback from all of you as, as we move forward doing uh, more Macintosh software. Thanks. Thank you, Bill. You know, where we are right now is we're shepherding some of the greatest assets in the computer industry. And if we want to move forward and see Apple healthy and prospering again, we have to let go of a few things here. We have to let go of this notion that for Apple to win, Microsoft has to lose. Okay? We have to embrace the notion that for Apple to win, Apple has to do a really good job. And if others, and if, if others are gonna help us, that's great. Because we need all the help we can get. And if we screw up and we don't do a good job, it's not somebody else's fault, it's our fault. So I think that's a very important perspective. I think if we want Microsoft Office on the Mac, we better treat the company that puts it out with a little bit of gratitude. We'd like their software. So, the era, the era of, of setting this up as a, as a competition between Apple and Microsoft is over as far as I'm concerned. This is about getting Apple healthy, and this is about Apple being able to make incredibly great contributions to the industry to get healthy and prosper again. The last thing, the last perspective I'd like to leave with you on this is, you know, sometimes points of view can really make you look at things differently. When you hear a new point of view, like for me, when I was looking at the statistics and it, it, it uh, hit me that Apple is the largest education company in the world, that was like a bolt of lightning. That's huge. What an incredible base to build off of. Another bolt of lightning is, that Apple plus Microsoft equals 100% of the desktop computer market. And so, whatever Apple and Microsoft agree to do, it's a standard. And I think that you'll be seeing us work with Microsoft more because they're the only other player in the desktop industry. And I think you'll be seeing Microsoft want to work with Apple more because Apple is the only other player in the desktop industry. So I hope we have even more cooperation in the future because the industry wants it. Lastly, I want to just talk a little about, about Apple and the brand and, uh, and what it means, I think, to a lot of us. You know, I think you always had to be a little different to buy an Apple computer. Uh, when we shipped uh, 
the Apple II. You had to think different about computers. I mean, computers were these things you saw in movies. They occupied giant rooms. Uh, they weren't these things you had on your desktop. You had to think differently because there wasn't any software at the beginning. You had to think differently when a first computer arrived at a school where there had never been one before, and it was an Apple II. I think you had to think really differently when you bought a Mac. It was a totally different computer, worked in a totally different way, used a totally different part of your brain, and it opened up a computer world for a lot of people who thought differently. You were buying a computer with an installed base of one. You had to think differently to do that. And I think you still have to think differently to buy an Apple computer. Uh, and I think the people that do buy them do think differently, and they are the creative spirits in this world. They are the people that are not just out to get a job done, they're out to change the world. And they're out to change the world using whatever great tools they can get. And we make tools for those kinds of people. So hopefully, what you've seen here today are some beginning steps that give you some confidence that we too are going to think differently and serve the people that have been buying our products since the beginning. Because a lot of times people think they're crazy. But in that craziness, we see genius. And those are the people we're making tools for. Thank you very much.